Yo guys, what is going on Tim Pursuit and welcome back to another video on the channel. Drop a pin, send a location. I'ma pull up in that bullet coop spaceship. Drop off a bag of some paint. Today's video, I'll be talking to you guys about how you can make a really cool like Twitter header or YouTube banner, whichever you prefer. In Photoshop, it's gonna be really clean and simplistic, and basically it's gonna be a wallpaper, and then you I'll be adding some text to it, and it's just gonna look really cool. I'll show you guys when we get on there, but can we hit the like button, smash the like button, guys? Can we hit 300 likes? That'll be amazing. And if we do hit that, I will leave a, a template for it in the description. So yeah, let's try and smash 300 likes, subscribe if you are new, and also let me know what video you wanna see from me next. And yeah, let's just get straight into it. Right guys, so we are here in Photoshop, so the first thing you wanna do is open the, like, your template up for the YouTube banner and you want to go over to the internet and we're just going to find a nice wallpaper so I'm just going to type 4k wallpapers you just want to find one that you like so make sure it's good quality as well just choose this one for now and just make it bigger you just want a good quality background that's it so what we're going to do now move it down a bit like I said it's gonna be really clean it's just gonna look really nice nothing too much going on um, so the first thing you want to do is just put it in duplicate it go to filter blur Gaussian blur something like that 7.5 somewhere around there and what you want to do is in certain parts rub it out but we want to move down the opacity of this uh, eraser to about 60% and you just want to rub out certain parts that you think would look good so maybe something like that just keep it like that for now next thing you want to do is just add a new layer go to white we'll just add one at the top as always it always looks better like that next thing add a new layer go to black and then route the outside do the same thing add a little shadow it just draws everything in together that looks really nice. <clears throat> so the next thing we're going to do is add a text in the middle, um, but it's going to look very cool. So let me just show you. So you want to put name, choose whatever font you want. Make sure it's quite bold. I'm going to use three colors: red, yellow, and blue. I think we'll just go for that for now. So we'll start with red. I'm going to put it in the middle. And you can make it as big or small as you want. Um, if you just want to rasterize it and then go to lighten, then duplicate it. And we're going to make this one yellow, so just go under the layer style, <clears throat> go to yellow. It doesn't have to be this color, it can be, can be whatever you want. Make sure it's on lighten. And then you just want to move it. Wait, let's do that again, lighten, click off it. And then you just want to move it to another place, something like that. Duplicate that one, and we'll go to the color overlay and make it blue, probably. You could do four, it's up to you guys, um, but I think it looks nice like this. And then the blue can go something like that. You don't want to be too far apart because it will just look really blurred, but like that looks quite nice. Um, you can move others in front of each other and stuff whatever you guys want to do could have something like this that looks quite nice we'll just keep it like that for now then you just want to group it all together and then just make sure it's right in the middle <clears throat> so once you've done that you want to duplicate it press ctrl E Put it all to lighten and then we'll just actually make sure we'll just delete that one make sure we've got two of them like so then what you want to do is go to filter you can either do this pixel I'll show you two ways go to mosaic and then keep it like that or you can rub it out and just have like the corners that looks quite nice. I think we'll just leave it like that actually. And if you want, you can duplicate the first one again and with the rectangle tool, 
just highlight a little strip, then press the arrow key, and then move the arrow keys to the left and right. And it makes like a nice pixelated effect. I think that looks quite nice. Like so. We'll just leave you like that for now. Uh, in fact, what I'm going to do is add a new layer. And then I'm going to make like a circle ring. So it's focusing more on the text in the middle. Something like that. Like so. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is add a new layer below the shadow and the lighting. And with the black, all we're going to do is just make like a strip going along like that. Then what you want to do is go to filter, pixelate, and I think colour half tone. And then just keep pressing Control F. And it makes this like cool dotted effect. And that looks really, really nice. Next thing you want to do is go to pixelate mosaic. So then go to filter, um, blur, motion blur, and you get this really cool effect and then I think, um, we'll set it to light screen, set to screen and then just keep duplicating it until it looks something like that. And then you basically got like a really nice overlay to go over the top. You can put it in the background and stuff. And I think that looks really cool. If you can just like keep moving it across. Then we'll just group them all together. Set it to screen again. And then you can mess around with the colours. Totally up to you guys. Uh, you can do this as well if you go to a new layer, create clipping mask. You can actually go over the top of these colours with something else. So you might want a purple down there. Could go for like a red. And then just rub away some parts. looks really nice and then you can also add some like bars going across so something like this and then set it to something we'll just have a look screen probably would be the best let's bring down the opacity a bit Quite nice. Rub away certain parts. I'm gonna change the colour. I've added a new one at the bottom. I'm gonna change the colour of that to like a purple. And um, what you can also do in the background is go to filter, pixelate, pixelate mosaic and you can make the background pixelated as well it's up to you guys but yeah that is pretty much it it's just a really cool like kind of like retro just pixelated effect it looks really really nice it's really clean as well nothing too much going on you could add your social media to the left and right so i'll just put that in i just think it'll look cool just putting it there but yeah, that is pretty much it. If you guys do want the template, then make sure you go hit the like button and smash 300 likes on this video. Just put that over there. I can't really see it to be honest, but...
I think we'll add like a black bar going behind everything. Just to finish it off. Yeah guys, that's about it. I hope you guys did enjoy. Smash the like button if you did. 300 likes for the template. Also comment down below what video you want to see from me next. Subscribe if you are new. And I hope you're all having a sick day today. I'll see you guys in the next video.